Great to have you back with us on the cafe. He's got pint-sized fans all over the world. I'd now like to welcome our next guest into the cafe studios, Phil Gallagher, also known as Mr. Maker. Oh, thank you. Lovely to meet it you. Lovely to yeah. have you here. Thanks for having me here. Look at this place. I know, pretty fancy, isn't it? I, I think it. I think what we should do first is actually have a look at what Mr. Maker does. <laughs> Well, it looks like you have a lot of fun. So you get paid to travel around the world and have a lot of fun. I do. I'm sorry, that was ten years ago. I've just seen how young I looked. <laughs> I can't believe it. Didn't want to say anything. No. Like... That's why my hair's so short now, you see, because you have to keep the greys at bay. That's so, it. So, look, I read that you were originally a sports broadcaster. So yes. how did you end up doing this? Well, I, I was lucky enough to get work experience at my local BBC radio station when I was at university. And uh, they sent me out in the radio car. This was pre-digital. This was a long time oh, ago. Yeah. I used to go out with an actual reel-to-reel -reel tape machine oh, wow. and interview people and cut and splice <laughs> the tape <laughs> together. <laughs> yeah, so, so it tells you how long ago it was. But it was great fun and great experience. And then basically I started uh, getting as much experience as I could and ended up in a live TV studio, a bit like this, as a runner. And that was 20 years ago, so it was a long time ago. But I was really lucky to learn the industry behind the camera as well as in front of it. Mm. So how did you get in front of it? Well, how did that all happen? I wrote myself into scripts. So oh, I, I ended convenient. up... Convenient. Yeah, I ended up being a researcher and then a producer and a director, but also a script writer as well. And um, I've always loved uh, performing and comedy. And so I started writing little uh, character sketches and then wrote myself into them. And that's how I ended up being able to go for auditions and finally got an audition for this new BBC Arts and Crafts show. And did you go down the, um, the route of child's television because you knew that's where the money is? <laughs> no, no, not at all. No, I, uh, it's, it sounds a cliche, but it was always my dream to be a kids' TV presenter. Oh, nice. When I was growing up, uh, I idolised my, uh, my presenters that, on the BBC back then. And, was it uh, Blue Peter and those? Blue, yeah, yes, I loved yeah. Blue Peter. And, uh, and we What's had a broom one? cupboard back then. The BBC presenters used to be in a broom cupboard with, with puppets. And um, oh. I loved that one-to-one -one interaction that, um, as a viewer, I used to have with the presenter. And that's why I love my job so much now. That's so cool. So you get to make all these crafts and arts and things. So when you're out and about, are you constantly looking at things and thinking, I could make something out of that? Definitely. I always keep a little notebook in my back pocket uh, if I come up for, for ideas for things, maybe for our live show or for the TV show. Uh, and that's the thing about Mr Maker as well. We, we do try to encourage collecting things in your doodle drawers at home. Uh, it doesn't have to be as elaborate as my doodle drawers behind me in the set, but maybe an old shoebox or something. And you yeah. collect lots of different things that you might think are ordinary, but one day you can turn them into something extraordinary. You know, I want to know, can, are you allowed to use, like, um, toilet paper roll, the middle bit from it? Because isn't that non-PC now? They said, oh, we can't use that anymore. Well, we actually say half a kitchen roll. Ah, That's it, yes. There you go. Yes. That's yes. a good way to get around. And you have to cut it in half, but be very careful, because scissors are... Sharp. There'll be lots of little ones and mums and dads and grandparents at home shouting sharp, hopefully. <laughs> OK, so how does the TV show translate into the live show? Because I heard some fantastic reports about the shows in Auckland. Um, so what, what goes on there? Well, what we try to do is be so respectful to the TV show and to our much-valued audience that love watching Mr Maker, and we're so proud of that. So we've put, obviously, arts and crafts into the show. That's at its heart, always. But we wanted to make it a family show on the stage that all ages would enjoy. So we've put in lots of singing, lots of games, prizes to be won. We get grown-ups up on stage as well. Oh, yeah. And I do, and I have to say some pretty good dancing by the end of the show. Oh, I think yes. your viewers will be surprised at some of the moves. Well, some moves. Hey, can we make something? Yeah. You just keep chatting and so can yes. you show us how to make something? Yeah, well, yeah cool. I want this to is just, actually I something. The, stick. the reason I brought this in is I said it was always my dream to be a kids' TV presenter. Yes. Yeah. I used to make things when I was a little boy, and this was actually something I used to make with my granddad oh, when okay. I was little. Yeah. So it's over 30 years ago. It's a pom-pom bug, everyone. Right. So you need okay. some pipe cleaners. Now, you two can work as a team because oh, you've geez. not made this before. What, do we just so uh, I know you're a good, you're a good team. <laughs> you're a good team. So you've got four pipe cleaners, and what yes. you have to do is put them into a star shape like this. OK, cool. But a tip for you guys, remember which one's on the bottom. OK, okay. cool. Brown's okay. on the bottom. Right, so Brown you make them into a bit of a, spa, a star shape okay. like this. Oops, I've bent that one around. Straight the old pipe cleaner out there now. That one before. How are you getting on? Yeah, we're good. You so two. far, we're not failing. Share you two. That's <laughs> okay, it. Yep. Right, and that's it. And then the one at the bottom, you need to wrap around all the others. Okay, see? you do the wrap. Like this. Yeah, got it. That's it. Wrap it round. What? And what? 
That's it. So twist it all the way around so it hugs onto all the others and they're all stuck together. Okay. Nice and tight. That's Fun. it. Nice Fun. and tight. Yeah. That's it. Pretty good. You can wrap it around a few times. I feel like if you I'm want. failing at it. No, that's good. That's, that's it. Good. Yeah. That's good. Right. Stay good. there. Right. right. That's it. And then you can hold it. Bend the ends into leg and feet shapes like this. Oh, yeah. You see, because we're making pom pom bugs, so it's a bit like a colourful spider. I feel Mr. Maker has given us the lamer. Pipe cleaners. <laughs> Not at all. It wasn't colourful. Look at that. Yeah, we got colour. <laughs> colourful ones. Okay, yep, right, we've got that going. So on. then when you've got your you're doing a good job. Thank this is you. good. Okay. I better be Sorry. careful, you'll be after my job. Oh, next. I wouldn't mind yeah. it to be honest. There we go. <laughs> we can do that. We now, can do that. Yeah, we're good. I'm gonna put that down there so you can see you've got your wiggly legs. You've got your wiggly legs. Yes, yep. good. Right, now you need to get a glue stick. There you go, you wanted to play with the glue stick. Yeah. Now Mel and Mike. Mel and Mike making. The makers. Yeah. Oh, there you yeah, go. The Thank you. <laughs> okay, quick, okay. And then a big splodge of glue in the middle like this. Yes. Other okay. brands of glue are available, by the way, Great. Mums and Dads. Got it. <laughs> Thought I'd put that out. on. Right, and then on goes the pom pom. And then some glue to stick on your googly <laughs> eyes as so well. I'm so far ahead of you right now. There you go, look, so you've got it. So far ahead of you. Oh, look. One like that. Oh, hang on. I'm going to show mine to the camera, you see, like, oh, I'm hoping whoops. that Oh, the now, what have you done? There we go. You see, you even beat me, look. There we go. There you go, and you've got oh. a pom-pom bug. Oh, oh that's that's good. Good. Very good. Yay. Phil Gallagher, Mr. Maker, thank you thank so you. much for coming in. Thank and you. thank you for teaching us how to... Ours looks, yeah, not quite as good. But <laughs> Yours is better than mine, pretty, I isn't think. it? Um, Mr. Maker and the Shapes Live on stage has just finished its run in Auckland, but it is currently in Christchurch for shows later on today and tomorrow, and we'll be in Wellington at the weekend.